The evolving landscape of programming in 2024 brings forth a set of dynamic trends and crucial skills that are reshaping the industry. As we navigate through complexities of modern software development, a holistic understanding of key elements becomes very essential. So in today's video, we will discuss about the most in-demand programming skills you must know in 2024. Now before we move on and learn more about this, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you don't miss. So hurry up and join the course now. So guys, let's start with the first skill that is data structures and algorithms. At the core of the efficient and optimized code lies under a strong understanding of data structures and algorithms. These concepts are fundamental to problem solving and form the backbone of any robust software system. In 2024, the demand for programmers with expertise in DSA was higher than ever as systems became more complex and computational requirements increased. Now let's move on and understand about the importance of data structures and algorithms. If I talk about importance of data structures and algorithms, data structure involves the organization and storage of data, while algorithms are step-by-step -step procedures for solving specific problems. Proficiency in DSA enables programmers to choose the right data structure and algorithm for a given task. Now, let us discuss what are the importance. The first factor that comes up to my mind is optimized code efficiency. DSA provides developers with tools and techniques to organize and store data effectively. By choosing the appropriate data structure and implementing efficient algorithms, programmers can significantly enhance the speed and performance. The next one is algorithmic thinking. DSA promotes algorithmic thinking, encouraging programmers to approach problems in a structured and logical manner. Understanding and implementing algorithms fosters a deeper insight into the nature of problem solving and the skill is transferable to various domains contributing to a programmer's versatility. The next one is resource management. If I talk about resource management guys, efficient resource management is a key aspect of DSA. By selecting the appropriate data structure, programmers can minimize the memory usage and optimize storage requirements. The next one is scalability of solutions. As software applications evolve, scalability becomes a crucial consideration. DSA provides the foundation for scalable solutions by designing algorithms and choosing the data structures that can handle increased loads and larger data sets. Developers ensure that their solutions can grow seamlessly with the expanding requirements of the system. Now we will move on and understand about the applications of data structures and algorithms. Now, data structures and algorithms find diverse applications across various domains in computer science and engineering. Here are some of them. The first one that comes up to my mind is database management systems. DSA plays a crucial role in organizing and retrieving data efficiently within the database management systems. Indexing structures such as B trees are employed to speed up the data retrieval operations. The next one is network routing and graph algorithms. In networking, DSAs are extensively used for designing efficient routing algorithms. Graph algorithm such as Jigstra algorithm and Bell-Manford algorithm help to find the shortest paths in the network. The third one is compiler design and code optimization. Compilers which translate high level programming languages into machine code heavily rely on DSA for efficient code generation and also optimization. Symbol tables implemented using data structures like hash table help manage identifiers and variables during compilation. The next one is artificial intelligence and machine learning. Data structures and algorithms are foundational in various applications of AI and ML. Algorithms for searching, sorting and data manipulation are integral to data processing tasks. Data structures such as hash table and trees facilitate quick retrieval and manipulation of data. And the final one is operating systems. DSAs are fundamental in design and implementation of operating systems. Data structures like queues and linked list are employed for managing processes in the system's memory. Algorithms for scheduling processes ensure efficient utilization of system resources. Additionally, file system utilize tree structure to organize and navigate through directories and file, contributing to the overall efficiency and organization of the operating system. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea regarding data structures and algorithm and what role they are going to play in building your programming skill. Now let's move on to the next skill that is object oriented programming. 
Object oriented programming or OOP's concept is a principle which is the integral to the software development. OOP is a programming paradigm that revolves around the concept of objects which encapsulate data and the methods that operate on the data. This approach enhances modularity, scalability and code reusability. OOP is basically guided by four main principles, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction. Encapsulation involves bundling data and methods that operate on the data into a single unit known as class. Then comes inheritance which allows a new class to inherit attributes and methods from existing class and also promoting the code reuse. And the next comes polymorphism which enables objects to take on multiple forms and there comes abstraction which involves simplifying complex system by breaking them down into manageable part. Now let us discuss about the importance of OOPS concept. As we all know guys that the OOPS concept or the OOPS programming paradigm brings a structured and the modular approach. Here are some of it. The first one is modularity and code reusability. OOPS promotes the organization of code into modular structure known as classes. Each class encapsulates data and the operation that can be performed on that data. This modularity enhances code reusability as classes can be reused in different parts of the program or in other objects. Next come is scalability or flexibility. OOPs facilitate the scalability of software system. As the application grow in complexity, the modular nature of OOPs allows developers to extend existing classes or create new ones without affecting the entire code base. Next comes is enhanced code organization. OOPs provide a clear and intuitive way to model real world entities and their interaction. The use of classes and objects mirrors the structure of problem domain, making the code more readable and understandable. And finally, we have abstraction and encapsulation. Abstraction allows developers to focus on essential features of an object while ignoring the non-essential details. This simplifies the complexity of the system, making it more manageable. If I talk about encapsulation, it involves bundling the data or the attributes and the methods that operate on the data into a single unit. This shields the internal details of an object from outside world and reducing the likelihood of unintended interference with the object state. Now let us discuss about the applications of OOPS concept. The first one is software development. OOPS is extensively used in general software development to enhance code organization and maintainability. Next comes is user interface and UI design. OOPS is instrumental in creating user interface with graphical user interface. GUI elements such as buttons, windows and menus can be represented as objects, each having its own property and methods. The next one is game development. In the realm of game development, OOP is widely adopted for creating game engines and designing game components. Game entities, behaviors and interactions are modeled using classes and objects. This allows the encapsulation of game logic making it easier to manage and extend as the game evolves. Fourth is the database systems. OOP is applied in the design and implementation of database system. Object relational mapping frameworks such as Hibernate in Java enables the representation of database entities as objects in programming language. Next one is simulation and modeling. OOP is valuable in simulation and modeling where complex systems need to be represented and manipulated. Now let's move on to the next skill that is very very important which is debugging and testing proficiency. In the pursuit of flawless software, debugging and testing emerge as a crucial stages in the development process. Proficient debugging skills involve identifying and resolving errors or bugs in the code while effective testing ensures that the code functions as intended and remains resilient to the potential issues. If we talk about debugging, it involves the systematic identification and rectification of errors in the code. Proficient use of debugging tools such as PyCharm, Visual Studio Code or Eclipse is crucial for quickly identifying and rectifying issues during the development phase. Now, let us discuss why testing is so much important. So, testing and debugging are internal components of the software development lifecycle and it plays a crucial role in ensuring the reliability, functionality and overall quality of the software. So, the first point that comes across my mind is ensuring code reliability. Robust testing practices contribute to the creation of reliable and stable software. By subjecting the code to various test cases including normal and edge cases, developers can validate its behavior under different conditions. The next reason is maintaining the software quality. Testing is a proactive measure to maintain and enhance software quality. 
by implementing various testing methodologies such as unit testing, integration testing and system testing, developers can verify that each component of the software functions correctly both individually and in conjunction with others. The next one is optimizing performance. Testing is not only about identifying errors but also about optimizing performance. Performance testing allows developers to assess factors such as response time, scalability and resource usage. By evaluating how software performs under different conditions, developers can make necessary adjustments to enhance its efficiency. The next one is preventing issues in production. Thorough testing and debugging helps in identifying and addressing issues before the software is deployed to the production environment. So I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea like why testing and debugging is very important. Now let us understand some of the applications of testing and debugging. Testing and debugging are critical process in the software development and it finds application across various stages of the software development life cycle. The first key application which I can remember is of unit testing. So if I talk about unit testing guys, in unit testing individual units or components of the software are tested in isolation to ensure they function as intended. It detects error at the very smallest scale, facilitating early identification and resolution of issues in specific functions or modules. The next one is integration testing. Integration testing assesses the interaction between different components or modules to identify issues arising from their combination. It ensures integrated parts of the software work seamlessly together, thus preventing the potential conflicts or inconsistencies. If I talk about user acceptance testing guys, UAT involves testing the software with end users to ensure it aligns with their expectations and requirement. Next comes the performance testing. Performance testing assesses the software's responsiveness, scalability and resource usage under the various conditions. And finally comes the security testing. Security testing evaluates the software for vulnerabilities and weaknesses that could be exploited. And its significance is that it protects against security threats, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of the data. Now let's move on and discuss about one of the most important skills that you must know in 2024, which is version control systems. Collaboration lies at the heart of modern software development and version control systems are instrumental in facilitating collaborative coding efforts. Among the various VCS, Git stands out as the industry standard. Git allows developers to track changes in their code base, work on different branches simultaneously and merge their contributions seamlessly. If I talk about why version control systems are very important, so let us discuss those key points. The first one that comes up to my mind is collaborative development. VCS or version control system allows multiple developers to work collaboratively on the same code base and each developer can create their branch to work on specific feature or bug fixes independently. The next feature is code history or tracking changes. VCS maintains a comprehensive history of code changes. Developers can track modification made to the code over time, including who made the changes and when. Next is risk mitigation and rollback. VCS provides a safety net by allowing developers to roll back to previous version of the code. In case of errors, bugs or unintended consequences introduced by new changes, developers can easily revert to a known stable state. Next one is branching and parallel development. VCS enables branching allowing developers to create isolated environments for a specific task. Now let us discuss the application. If I talk about the application of version control system guys, they have a widespread application across various stages of software development lifecycle. The first one is coding history and auditing. If I talk about coding history and auditing, VCS maintains a comprehensive history of code changes, including who made the changes, when and the nature of modification. The next one is release management. VCS is instrumental in managing different releases of the software. Branching and tagging feature allows for the creation of stable release branches, ensuring that specific version of the software can be maintained and updated independently. The next one is bug tracking and issue resolution. VCS facilitates bug tracking by providing insights into when and where code changes have occurred. Next one is continuous integration and continuous deployment. VCS integrates with CI CD pipelines, automating the build testing and deployment processes based on code changes. Next one is distributed development. In distributed or remote work scenarios, VCS supports seamless collaboration. 
developers can access and contribute to the code base from different locations, ensuring effective coordination and the version control. Version control systems can be integrated with pre-commit hooks or code linting tools to enforce coding standards. This will ensure that the code contribution aligns with established coding guidelines. So guys, in brief, that was the applications of version control system and why you should learn this skill in 2024. Now finally, let us come to our final skill, which is very, very important for every programmer. That is problem solving. In 2024, the challenges faced by programmer extend beyond the algorithmic complexities. Addressing real-world problems involve consideration of user experience, system scalability, and security. A holistic problem-solving approach incorporates these factors, ensuring that the solutions developed are not only technically sound, but are also aligned with the broader objectives of the project. Now let's move on and discuss why one should learn problem-solving skill and how it's gonna help you in your programming. So guys, the first one is algorithmic thinking. Coding requires the ability to break down complex problems into smaller and more manageable parts. Algorithmic thinking involves creating step-by-step -step procedures or logical sequence to solve a problem efficiently. So if you are a strong problem solver, then it is going to enable the creation of effective algorithms. The next one is logical thinking. Coding involves logical thinking and reasoning. So problem solving in these coding enhances your logical reasoning skills, thus enabling programmers to approach challenges in a structured and systematic way. The next one is efficient coding. A well thought out solution to the problem leads to a more efficient code implementation. Effective problem solving ensures that the code is optimized, performs well and meets the specified requirements. Next one is the job performance. Problem solving skills are highly valued by employers in the tech industry. A coder with strong problem solving abilities is better equipped to handle diverse challenges, contribute to projects effectively and excel in the dynamic field of technology. So in summary guys, problem solving is very fundamental to coding and programming. It's not only evolves writing code, but also encompasses the logical thinking, algorithmic design, debugging, and continuous learning. Strong problem solving skills are key to becoming a proficient and successful coder in various programming domains. So that was all for today's video guys. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on most in-demand programming skills you must know in 2024. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.